That gives you a good feel for how Jetfire was discovered, uh, a, a good history on his past with his relationship with Starscream and the Decepticons, and then of course his realization like, wait, you guys are the assholes now. I'm gonna side with these guys, right? And then also his kind of demise. He later on comes back in the series and plays a, a more important part or more important regular part ongoing after they, they get him back uh, out of the ice once again. Um, so, like I said, he was one of the guys I always wanted as a G1 toy, but never had, but did play with, like I said. So let's uh, go ahead and get a look at said G1 toy right now. Okay, so let me solve something for you that you're probably wondering about at this point. A, why did the picture of his toy package art at, on, in my last video, at the start of my last video, and the picture of his toy that I just showed now not look anything like he does in the cartoon? And B, why am I calling him Jetfire, yet in the cartoon they call him Skyfire? Well, 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 this is as best I understand it. So. When Transformers first started, it was basically brought in as a toy line and then they added the cartoon to go with that toy line. And the toy line, they, uh, a, a Japanese um, a toy called Diaclone or something like that, they took molds from that toy line and brought them into Transformers. Um, so that's why when you see like Ironhide and, and Ratchet's toys, G1 toys, it's like, that's supposed to be them? Like, they just kind of repurposed them to suit Transformers and a lot of them didn't really fit until they started making actual new molds to match the, the characters in the, in the cartoon. Um, so, when they brought in Jetfire's toy, they took it from the Robotech Macross Saga cartoon, which uh, basically, if you know that cartoon, you'll see that Skyfire's toy is basically just a Veritech fighter, and it can even do the three transformations, the robot, the jet, and then the half jet robot thing. So, um, once they brought in that toy, he was, the toy was called Jetfire, the character was called Jetfire, but they couldn't, because of legalities and adding him to the show, they didn't want anything to do with being sued or whatever from the other toy lines or whatever, whatever it is. So they renamed him Skyfire in the show and had him look nothing like his toy. So something to that effect, I don't understand it exactly, but it's, it's all has to do with legalities and shit. So, so that's why there is the confusion between Skyfire and Jetfire. I personally prefer the Jetfire name. I find it's a much cooler name than, than Skyfire. They're both cool, but Jetfire to me is, is the one. So this, you'll see, I mentioned last time that uh, these, these next number of toys going forward are a new line that uh, I haven't yet uh, uncovered, other than the Quintesson, I think might've been uh, along, along this line. But this is kind of a partnership between Takara Tomy and Hasbro. So, and it's taken from uh, Siege uh, for Cybertron trilogy. trilogy. There, there's a couple cartoons, uh, Transformers cartoons on Netflix that have been added, I don't know, a little while back that they've made kind of a toy line out of, but they are very suited to the G1 as well. So when I looked at G1 Masterpiece scale Jetfire toys, um, this was by far the best deal. Uh, the, like the fans toys one, as usual, is ridiculously priced. I think it was up over a thousand dollars. Like it's crazy. So um, this one isn't exactly masterpiece skill, but it's pretty close. It was the best option for the price that I could find. So um, I can't wait to get him out of the box and see what he looks like. So let's uh, let's go ahead and do that right now. All right, let's free the beast. Really hoping he's in jet mode, but. I'm assuming he's in robot mode just because that seems to be my life lately, so. Ah! Oh my god, he's a mask. I love it. Oh, it's got the stupid cord things. Okay, so he's got some blast effects sort of thing. Um, an instruction booklet. Some sort of whatever that is that's garbage uh, instruction booklet some blast effects now you'll see he is pretty big um, and pretty awesome so um, and that's that you know that's a pretty good G, G1 looking version of him right so um, I'm not gonna go get scissors and then come back and do this I'll just show you as it is that is pretty awesome there's a blaster Another couple blasters. I'm assuming those are for his jet mode and they maybe tuck under the wings or whatever. 
and a couple other blasters over here. Um, and then this kind of chest plate that looks like, or maybe it's something to do with just jet mode or whatever, but uh, there he is in all of his glory. I'm gonna go get some scissors and cut him out. And then uh, we will go ahead and get him transformed and see what he looks like in jet mode. So there is the great and popular Jetfire. He was a really popular character as, as kids. That's why I remember everybody loved Jetfire. Um, he looks amazing. Um, both both modes uh, look fantastic. The color scheme, the, the whole shape of the jet. He was such a unique looking jet. Like all the other jets looked like, like real jets, like F-15s and all that stuff. Um, but he just looks so different. He almost looked like half jet, half spaceship or something, right? So he had a very unique look to them and uh, and they did a pretty good job at um, at recreating that so in terms of the construction everything's really really tight uh, it's all plastic I don't think there's any metal at all and it seems to be pretty good quality plastic as well so uh, I think this guy's gonna hold up fairly well and uh, and uh, he just yeah everything about him looks fantastic and all the blast effects in that shield and stuff that he came with that's you can put him in a version that uh of what he uses in that siege for cybertron cartoon the, the more recent one that's on netflix um he looks different with a different head and different all these weapons and armor and stuff like that so you can put him in that look if you want but i'm not about that i'm all about the g1 that's that's my jam uh so i'm gonna of course keep him au naturel if you will so but uh, i hope you enjoyed this this is the first in i think one two three i got four more from this same Takara Tomy Hasbro line. And uh, they all just get bigger and better. Bigger and better than Jetfire, you say? I know, I got you thinking now, don't I? So you're just gonna have to wait. Till next time.